Hi everybody, welcome back again. One cannot write a lecture on art after 9-11 without highlighting the central role of the United States of America plays in this question and more specifically the role which September 11, 2001 played for the United States of America and for the whole world. On January 20, 2001, George W. Bush Jr. was elected as the 43rd President of the United States of America after a very concise election. He has not been in office for nine months yet when on September 11, 2001, the Al-Qaeda terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center in New York and the Pentagon in Washington take place. On a warm and sunny September morning, four different aircrafts were kidnapped by a total of 19 kidnappers, all of whom were members of the Al-Qaeda Islamic Terror Organization. They kidnapped these airplanes to direct them into strategic, political or symbolic targets of the United States of America and of the Western world. The terrorist attacks of September 11 were classified by the United States of America, by the government, as a war attack, leading to the war on Afghanistan, the Third Iraq War and the strengthening and massive expansion of the National Security Agency, the NSA. Already one month later, on the 7th of October 2001, the United States of America began its operation against the Taliban in Afghanistan. The Operation Enduring Freedom took place under a mandate by the United Nations. The Taliban and Al-Qaeda were attacked by a global coalition against terror, including France, Italy, Turkey, Bulgaria, Germany, Norway, Sweden, Hungary, Spain, Lithuania, New Zealand, Korea and the Czech Republic. On March 20, 2003, the United States started the Third Gulf War under the title Iraqi Freedom against Iraq and the dictator Saddam Hussein, which officially continued until May 1, 2003. But already in 2002, the United States of America, after the attacks of 9-11, had set up the notorious terrorist prison camp X-ray in Guantanamo Bay for 320 prisoners. They erected roofed cages in the open air in which the prisoners can be seen without any visible protection and without privacy from every side. On June 29, 2006, the Supreme Court of the United States on June 29, 2006, the Supreme Court of the United States of America decided that the military tribunals at the Guantanamo prison were not according to law. They violated the Geneva Convention, U.S. military law and the American Constitution. President George W. Bush Jr. had exceeded his competences, the judges ruled. In 2006, a real estate bubble burst in the United States of America. This brought mortgage lenders like Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, who had bought a tremendous amount of loans with a lower credit rating, into payment difficulties. Also, on September 15, 2008, two years later, the Lehman Brothers Bank reported insolvency. The bankruptcy of Lehman Brothers led to a huge worldwide recession and a price drop which destroyed trillions of dollars in stock. It had far-reaching and protecting effects on the global economy as a whole. 